unlock the secrets of time. Welcome to our channel, where we open the dusty pages of history, discover the wisdom of ancient civilizations, and bring the forgotten stories of humanity to life. Gods and Goddesses of the Maya The rich tapestry of Maya gods and goddesses comprises a diverse array of anthropomorphic beings, each embodying various spiritual forces deeply intertwined with Maya culture. While these deities were revered across the loosely connected city-states known as Maya polities, certain gods held particular significance for specific centers or ruling dynasties. Exploring Maya deities, a brief overview. Extensive pantheon. The Maya pantheon boasts a multitude of gods and goddesses, numbering at least 200. Diverse portfolio. Among these deities, some hold sway over realms like death, fertility, rain, thunderstorms, and creation. Temporal variation. While some gods trace their origins back to ancient times, others emerged during the late post-classic period, reflecting the evolving religious landscape of the Maya civilization. Complex relationships, Maya myths, often chronicled in sacred texts like the Popol Vuh, depict gods as powerful yet fallible beings. They could be both benevolent and ruthless, subject to manipulation or defeat by resourceful humans or demigods like the hero twins. Navigating the divine hierarchy, According to colonial records, a hierarchical structure existed within the pantheon, with its Samna reigning supreme. However, the gods displayed multifaceted identities and were often referred to by multiple names, complicating efforts to quantify their number. Nevertheless, prominent figures include Itsamna the creator, Chak the rain god, Ixchel the fertility goddess, and the formidable deities of death, Apuch and Akan. Unveiling Itsamna the wise creator Itzamna, revered as Ad Zib or Idzat among the Maya, and designated as God D by scholars, stands as a venerable figure embodying wisdom and creative prowess. As a central deity spanning both the classic and post classic eras, Itzamna holds sway over realms of creation, sustenance, and divine knowledge, a multifaceted presence. Manifesting in diverse forms, Itzamna is often depicted with distinctive features such as a snaggletooth or a chipfallen mouth symbolizing age and wisdom. His visage may take the form of a priest, an earth caiman, or even a personified tree or bird deity, reflecting his multifarious nature. The Iconography of Itzamna. In the Madrid Codex, Itzamna dons a tall cylindrical headdress and a lavishly ornamented back cape, further accentuating his divine stature and symbolic significance within Maya cosmology. Unveiling Apuch, Guardian of the Underworld. Apuch, the enigmatic deity of the Maya underworld, reigns over realms of death, decay, and the transition of souls into the afterlife. Known by epithets like Simi, Death, and Sizin, the Flatulent One, Apuch, also dubbed Gade by scholars, emerges as a prominent figure in Maya cosmology, a herald of decay. Apuch's iconography paints a vivid picture of his domain, featuring skeletal forms and scenes of execution that underscore his association with mortality and decomposition characterized by large black spots symbolizing putrefaction and a distended belly teeming with grotesque imagery, Apuch embodies the relentless march of time and the inevitable fate of all living beings. Symbolism and Representation Intriguing details adorn representations of Apuch, including hair-like ruffs adorned with elements like bells or rattles, symbolizing the eerie sounds of the underworld. His imagery, though somber, often carries elements of dark humor, with references to bodily functions and decay serving as reminders of life's transience. An enigmatic presence across late classic period steles and codices, as well as late post-classic ceramics, Apuch's presence looms large, offering glimpses into the Maya perception of death and the afterlife. As the guardian of the realm beyond, Apuch stands as a testament to the enduring fascination with mortality in Maya culture. Revealing Akan, deity of revelry and transition, Akan, revered as Gada Prime among scholars, embodies a multifaceted role in Maya mythology, presiding over realms of revelry, disease, and the enigmatic passage into the afterlife. As a deity of death intertwined with wine and drinking rituals, Akan's presence offers a unique glimpse into the complexities of Maya spiritual beliefs, a divine bacchanalian. At the heart of Akan's domain lies the celebration of life's pleasures and its inevitable end. Often depicted wielding an enema syringe or depicted vomiting, Akan symbolizes the excesses of drinking bouts and the blurred lines between intoxication and mortality. His association with Polki, 
the fermented alcoholic beverage known as chi underscores his connection to both revelry and the inevitable embrace of death. Iconography and Symbolism Akin's visage is marked by distinctive symbols, including a division or percent sign on his cheek and a darkened region around his eye, symbolizing the mysteries of the night and the depths of dark. Hurricane, the enigmatic lightning god. Hurricane, also known as Yuku Kaj, heart of the sky, and Kewil among the Maya, stands as a pivotal figure in Mesoamerican mythology, revered as the one-legged creator and the embodiment of celestial forces. As the deity of lightning and maize fertility, Huracan's multifaceted identity captivates scholars and spiritual seekers alike. The divine artisan illustrations of Huracan depict a striking figure adorned with a long, serpentine nose and distinctive belly scutes reminiscent of a turtle's shell. His single, often fiery leg evokes the raw power of lightning, while symbols of authority such as the axe, burning torch, or cigar emphasize his divine sovereignty. The circular mirror embedded in his forehead hints at esoteric knowledge and cosmic insight. The Triune Catalyst of Creation In the sacred text of the Popol Vuh, Huracan emerges as a triad of gods, each embodying a facet of primordial creation. From Kakulaha Huracan, the thunderbolt lightning, to Chipi Kakulaha, the brilliant flash, and Raksa Kakulaha, the sudden thunderbolt, Huracan orchestrates the genesis of existence itself. Guardian of fertility and power, Beyond his role as the progenitor of creation, Huracan assumes guardianship over the bountiful maize harvest, symbolizing abundance and sustenance for the Maya people. His association with lightning and rain underscores his pivotal role in agricultural cycles, ensuring the fertility of the land and the prosperity of civilization. The legacy of kings Huracan's influence extends beyond mythological realms, as evidenced by Maya rulers who adopted his name and likeness to assert their divine authority. By embodying the persona of Kawil, these monarchs sought to channel the transcendent power of the lightning god, embodying the dynamic interplay between earthly rulership and celestial forces. Reflections of Divine Majesty In the enigmatic figure of Huracan, we encounter a deity of profound significance whose presence reverberates through the annals of Maya history and spirituality. As the eternal harbinger of creation and the elemental force of lightning, Huracan invites us to contemplate the intricate tapestry of existence and our place within the cosmic order. Kamazots, the fearsome bat god of Maya legend. In the annals of Maya mythology, the bat god Kamazots, also known as Zots, emerges as a figure of dread and mystery, his legend woven into the tapestry of the Popol Vuh, in this ancient tale, the hero twins Expelonk and Hunapu confront the malevolent presence of Kamazots within the depths of a cavernous bat cave, a terrifying encounter. As the hero twins navigate the labyrinthine cavern, they encounter a horde of bats, their snouts akin to lethal blades poised for violence. Seeking refuge within their blowguns, the twins unwittingly invite tragedy as Hunapu, curious about the passage of time, exposes himself to the darkness. In a swift and merciless strike, Kamazots descends upon him, delivering a fatal blow, a singular tale. Remarkably, the story of the hero twin's fateful encounter with Kamazots remains unique to the Popol Vuh, absent from Maya codices or artistic renderings on vases and stelae. Yet, the symbolism of bats persists within Maya culture, denoted as fire is the bat's speech. Within Maya iconography, bats serve various roles, as emblems, messengers often paired with birds, symbols of fertility or pollination alongside hummingbirds, and embodiments of disease in their bestial Wai form. A symbol of mystery and power, Kamazots, shrouded in darkness and steeped in menace, embodies the enigmatic depths of Maya cosmology. As the god of bats, he represents not only the physical threat posed by these creatures, but also the symbolic significance they hold within Maya culture. Through his legend, Kamazots invites us to confront the primal fears and mysteries that dwell within the shadows of the human psyche. Echoes of Ancient Wisdom In the haunting visage of Kamazots, we glimpse echoes of ancient wisdom and timeless truths, beckoning us to delve deeper into the rich tapestry of Maya mythology. As we navigate the caverns of existence, may we heed the lessons of the hero twins encounter, embracing the light of knowledge while remaining vigilant against the encroaching darkness embodied by the fearsome bat god, Kamazots. Zipakna, the celestial crocodile warrior. Within the intricate tapestry of Maya mythology, 
The figure of Zipakna, also known as Sipak, emerges as a celestial crocodile warrior, shrouded in tales of creation and revenge. Revered as a counterpart to the earth monster Sipakli, Zipakna's legend is woven into the annals of the Popol Vuh, the sacred text of the Maya people, and echoes through the oral traditions of rural highland towns. The maker of mountains, according to the Popol Vuh, Zipakna's days were spent in pursuit of crabs and fishes, his nights dedicated to the monumental task of lifting mountains. His strength and prowess were unmatched, his deeds shaping the very landscape of the earth, a deadly betrayal. Yet Zipakna's fate took a dark turn when he crossed paths with 400 boys in need of assistance. Ever the benevolent figure, Zipakna lent his aid, only to be met with treachery as the boys conspired to end his life. Miraculously surviving their attack, Zipakna exacted a swift and brutal vengeance, unleashing his wrath upon the unsuspecting youths, the hero twins' quest for justice. In the aftermath of this tragedy, the hero twins, heirs to a legacy of valor and righteousness, vowed to avenge the slain boys. With cunning and determination, they devised a plan to defeat Zipakna, toppling a mountain upon his chest and transforming him into stone. Legacy of Legend The tale of Zipakna endures as a testament to the enduring power of myth and the complex interplay of creation, betrayal, and revenge within Maya cosmology. Through his deeds, Zipakna embodies the eternal struggle between order and chaos, light and darkness, leaving an indelible mark upon the collective consciousness of the Maya people. In conclusion, as we contemplate the legacy of Zipakna, let us heed the timeless wisdom woven into his legend, reflecting on the consequences of treachery and the pursuit of justice. In the mythic realm of Maya cosmology, Zipakna stands as a symbol of resilience in the face of adversity, reminding us of the enduring power of the human spirit to overcome even the most formidable of foes. Chak, the ancient guardian of rain and lightning, in the rich tapestry of Maya mythology, Chak emerges as one of the oldest and most revered deities, his presence weaving through the annals of time from the pre-classic period to the heights of Maya civilization. Known by various names such as Chak Shib Chak and Yaksha Chak, and often referred to by scholars as God B, Chak reigns as the divine steward of rain and lightning, his domain extending over the fertile lands of the Maya realm. A symbol of power and protection, with his long, pendulous nose and imposing stature, Chak embodies the formidable forces of nature, wielding axes and serpents as symbols of his divine authority. In the tumultuous dance of the heavens, he commands the tempests and thunderstorms, bestowing the life-giving rains upon the earth and safeguarding his people from drought and famine. Guardian of War and Sacrifice Yet, Chak's influence extends beyond the realms of nature, intertwining with the affairs of mortals in matters of war and sacrifice. Revered as a patron of warriors and a witness to human rights, he stands as a sentinel against adversity, guiding his devotees through the trials of life with his benevolent gaze. A Link to the Divine In the intricate tapestry of Maya cosmology, Chak serves as a bridge between the mortal realm and the divine, his presence a reminder of the sacred bond between humanity and the natural world. Through rituals and offerings, the Maya sought to appease Chak, beseeching his favor and protection in times of need. Legacy of Reverence As we gaze upon the ancient visage of Chak, let us marvel at the enduring legacy of this celestial guardian whose benevolence sustains the cycle of life and ensures the prosperity of the Maya people. In his thunderous voice and gentle reign, we find solace and strength, a testament to the enduring power of faith in the face of adversity. In conclusion, in the heart of the Maya civilization, amidst the towering pyramids and lush jungles, Chak reigns as a timeless symbol of resilience and renewal. Let us honor his legacy with reverence and gratitude, embracing the eternal bond between humanity and the divine forces that shape our world. Ex Mukane and Ex Piacoc, the divine grandparents of dualities. In the sacred annals of the Popol Vuh, the timeless saga of creation unfolds, guided by the benevolent hands of Xmukane and Xpiacoc, the primordial couple whose wisdom and compassion shape the destinies of gods and mortals alike. As the grandparents of two sets of twins, they embody the dualities of existence, weaving a tapestry of peace and violence, harmony and discord. The older twins, peace and creation. In the gentle embrace of Xmukane and Xpiacoc, the older twins, one monkey and one howler, 
find solace amidst the trials of life. Enduring great losses, they turn to the arts of painting and carving, finding solace in the tranquility of the fields. Theirs is a world of peace and creation, where the gentle strokes of their brushes and chisels bring forth beauty and harmony. The younger twins, magic and wildness. Conversely, the younger twins, Blow Gunner and Jaguar Sun, tread a path of magic and wildness, navigating the violent depths of the woods with skill and cunning. As magicians and hunters, they harness the primal forces of nature, wielding their knowledge to hunt for sustenance and survival. Their world is one of primal instinct and untamed wilderness, where the law of the jungle reigns supreme. The dance of jealousy and trickery. Yet, amidst the tranquil fields and savage woods, jealousy and trickery abound as the two sets of twins vie for the favor of Exmukane. Endless pranks and deceptions ensue, each pair seeking dominance over the other in a relentless dance of rivalry and deceit. In the end, it is the younger twins who emerge victorious, casting their elder siblings into the form of monkeys, a gesture of pity and redemption. In a moment of compassion, Exmukane extends her hand in pity, granting the fallen twins a chance at redemption. Through her benevolence, the pipers and singers, the painters and sculptors are restored to their former glory, bringing joy and harmony to all who dwell in the realm of creation. In conclusion, as we reflect upon the timeless tale of Exmukane and Exmukane, let us embrace the dualities of existence, recognizing that peace and violence, creation and destruction are but two sides of the same divine coin. In their eternal dance, we find the essence of life itself, a symphony of light and shadow that shapes the destiny of gods and mortals alike. Kinichahau, the radiant sun god of the Maya. In the celestial pantheon of the Maya, Kinichahau, also known as Ahau Kin or God Ji, reigns supreme as the embodiment of solar power and divine radiance. With his distinctive features and symbolic attributes, Kinichahau illuminates the heavens with his eternal light. The luminous visage. At the heart of Kinichahau's iconography lies his resplendent countenance, adorned with a Roman nose and a commanding square eye that pierces the darkness. His cross-eyed gaze, a symbol of his cosmic vision, gazes both inward and outward, encompassing the totality of existence. Often depicted with a beard, reminiscent of the sun's rays, Kinichahau exudes a sense of majestic authority, symbols of solar majesty. Intricately detailed, Kinichahau bears the marks of his divine lineage. His incisors, filled with the brilliance of celestial fire, symbolize his power over light and warmth. From the corners of his mouth, rope-like elements spiral outward, echoing the solar flares that dance across the sky. Adorning his form is the quatrefoil symbol of the sun, inscribed upon his cheek or brow, a testament to his celestial dominion, echoes of divine majesty. In the rich tapestry of Maya iconography, Kinichahau's presence resonates with echoes of divine majesty. Associated with themes of decapitation and jaguars, he embodies the dual nature of creation and destruction, weaving the threads of life and death into the cosmic fabric. From the late pre-classic to post-classic periods, his image endures as a symbol of solar power and spiritual enlightenment. Conclusion. As we behold the radiant visage of Kinichahau, let us bask in the warmth of his divine presence and honor the eternal cycle of light and darkness. In his luminous gaze, we find inspiration to embrace the brilliance of our own inner sun and illuminate the world with love, wisdom, and cosmic harmony. Monchan, the wise merchant of the Maya. In the vibrant tapestry of Maya mythology, Mon Chan, known as Misty Sky or God El, emerges as a revered figure embodying wisdom, trade, and ancestral knowledge. With his weathered visage and humble demeanor, Mon Chan traverses the realms of commerce and spirituality, guiding his people with sagacity and insight. The merchant's mantle, clad in the garb of a seasoned merchant, Mon Chan is often depicted with a walking stick in hand, symbolizing his journey through the bustling markets and ancient trade routes of the Maya world. His merchant's bundle, laden with goods and treasures, speaks to his role as a purveyor of goods and a conduit of cultural exchange. A Visage of Experience The visage of Mon Chan reflects the passage of time, with age etched upon his brow and wisdom etched into the lines of his weathered face. His prominent, beaked nose and sunken, toothless mouth convey the trials and tribulations of a life well lived, while his stooped posture speaks to the weight of his accumulated knowledge. 
symbols of spiritual significance. Amidst the bustling marketplace, Moen Chan is often accompanied by symbolic motifs that hint at his spiritual significance. A broad-brimmed hat adorned with feathers symbolizes his connection to the celestial realms, while a raptor perched atop his crown speaks to his mastery over the natural world. His cloak, whether adorned with stepped chevrons or fashioned from a jaguar pelt, reflects his affinity with the sacred and the divine, guardian of traditions. As the embodiment of trade, tobacco, jaguars, and caves, Moen Chan stands as a guardian of ancient traditions and cultural heritage. Whether puffing on a cigar or communing with the spirits of the earth, he serves as a bridge between the material and the spiritual, guiding his people along the path of prosperity and enlightenment. Conclusion In the figure of Moen Chan, we find a timeless archetype of wisdom, resilience, and cultural stewardship. As we journey through the annals of Maya mythology, let us heed his timeless wisdom and honor the legacy of trade, knowledge, and spiritual insight that he embodies. In the misty skies of the Maya cosmos, Moen Chan's presence shines as a beacon of guidance and enlightenment for generations to come. Chak Chel, Guardian of the Cosmic Balance In the rich tapestry of Maya mythology, Chak Chel, also known as Goddess O, emerges as a formidable figure embodying the intricate balance between creation and destruction. With her ancient wisdom and enigmatic presence, Chak Chel navigates the realms of birth and death, rainbows and shadows, weaving the threads of existence into a cosmic tapestry. The enigmatic elder shrouded in mystery and power, Chak Chel stands as an embodiment of primordial forces, her essence intertwined with the very fabric of the universe. As an elderly woman adorned with spotted jaguar ears and paws, she commands respect and reverence, her visage a testament to the passage of time and the cyclical nature of existence. The Dance of Creation and Destruction Unlike the romanticized portrayal of rainbows in Western mythology, Chak Chel unveils the deeper truth behind these celestial phenomena. To the Maya, rainbows were not merely symbols of beauty, but manifestations of divine flatulence, emanating from the depths of dry wells and caves, heralds of both sickness and renewal. With her clawed and fanged form, Chak Chel embodies the paradoxical nature of creation and destruction, wearing a skirt adorned with death symbols as a reminder of life's fragile dance. Bearer of serpentine wisdom, atop her head rests a twisted serpent headdress, symbolizing the serpent's ancient wisdom and its role as a harbinger of transformation. Through the serpent's coils, Chak Chel channels the primal forces of the cosmos, guiding the ebb and flow of life and death with a steady hand. The Cycle of Rebirth as the guardian of birth and creation, as well as death and rebirth, Chak Chel presides over the eternal cycle of existence. With each passing moment, she oversees the unraveling of the old and the birth of the new, ensuring that the cosmic balance remains undisturbed. Conclusion In the enigmatic figure of Chak Chel, we glimpse the profound depths of Maya mythology, where beauty and darkness, creation and destruction intertwine in an eternal dance. As we gaze upon her jaguar-adorned form and serpent-crowned head, let us contemplate the intricate tapestry of existence she weaves, honoring the timeless wisdom and boundless power she represents. In the embrace of Chak Chel, we find solace in the ever-turning wheel of life, knowing that amidst the chaos and uncertainty, the cosmic balance endures. Ix Chel, weaver of life's threads. In the vibrant tapestry of Maya mythology, Ix Chel, also known as Goddess Eye, emerges as a multifaceted deity embodying the intricate interplay of life and creation. With her ever-changing visage and enigmatic presence, Ix Chel weaves the threads of existence, guiding humanity through the cycles of birth, fertility, and the mysteries of the moon. The shape-shifting deity Ix Chel defies conventional boundaries, appearing in various forms that transcend gender and age. Sometimes depicted as a clawed goddess adorned with a serpent headdress, she seamlessly transitions between youthful vitality and the wisdom of age, embodying the fluidity of existence itself. At times, she embodies both male and female characteristics, symbolizing the union of opposites within the divine. Guardian of fertility and creation. As the goddess of the moon, childbirth, fertility, and weaving, Ix Chel holds sway over the fundamental forces that shape human life. With her lunar crescent adorning her brow and a rabbit by her side, she symbolizes the ever-renewing cycles of fertility and growth. Through her divine grace, 
she bestows blessings upon mothers, midwives, and all who seek the gift of new life. Keeper of sacred shrines, Ixchel's influence extends far and wide, with shrines dedicated to her scattered across the Maya lands. Among the sacred sites, Cozumel Island holds a special place where devotees pay homage to the goddess with reverence and devotion. In these hallowed spaces, the presence of Ixchel is felt, offering solace and guidance to those who seek her divine wisdom. The Lunar Weaver, at the heart of Ixchel's mythos, lies the ancient art of weaving, a sacred practice that mirrors the intricate patterns of the cosmos. With skillful hands, she spins the threads of destiny, crafting the fabric of reality itself. In her lunar domain, she wields the power to shape the cycles of life and death, ushering in new beginnings with each waxing crescent. Conclusion In the enigmatic figure of Ixchel, we encounter the boundless depths of Maya spirituality, where the mysteries of life and creation intertwine with the rhythms of the cosmos. As we contemplate her ever-changing form and divine attributes, let us honor the timeless wisdom and eternal presence of Goddess, weaving our own destinies in harmony with the celestial dance of Ixchel's lunar embrace. Unveiling the Pantheon, exploring the diverse deities of the Maya. Delve into the rich tapestry of Maya mythology and discover a vibrant array of gods and goddesses, each with their own unique powers and attributes. From the celestial to the earthly, these divine beings weave a complex web of symbolism and significance, offering insights into the spiritual beliefs of the ancient Maya civilization. Bicephalic monster, guardian of the cosmos, behold the enigmatic two-headed celestial monster, a symbol of cosmic power and mystery. With its deer-eared front head and skeletal rear head, this creature embodies the duality of existence and the interconnectedness of the heavens and the earth. Diving God, Maze God or Skydiver. Witness the youthful figure of the diving god as it plunges headfirst from the sky, a symbol of rebirth and renewal. Though often associated with the Maya Maze God, its true identity remains shrouded in myth and interpretation, inviting speculation and wonder. Ek Chua, patron of merchants and trade encounter. Ek Chua, the long-nosed merchant god who oversees commerce and exchange. With his distinctive features and association with wealth, this deity embodies the prosperity and abundance sought by the Maya people in their daily lives. Fat God, symbol of excess and desire. Marvel at the imposing figure of the Fat God, a testament to the dangers of gluttony and excess. With swollen eyelids and bloated features, this deity serves as a cautionary reminder of the pitfalls of indulgence and worldly desires. God C, embodiment of sacredness. Explore the mysterious realm of God C, the personification of divine sanctity and reverence. As a symbol of spiritual purity, this enigmatic deity inspires awe and devotion among the Maya faithful, guiding them on their journey towards enlightenment. Jaguar Gods, Guardians of the Sun. Enter the realm of the Jaguar Gods, powerful beings associated with solar energy and prowess. From the Jaguar God of the Underworld to the Water Lily Jaguar, these majestic creatures embody strength, ferocity, and the eternal cycle of life and death. Quetzalcoatl, Serpent of Wisdom and Renewal. Encounter the legendary Quetzalcoatl, a transcendent figure revered across Mesoamerica for its wisdom and transformative power. As the feathered serpent, Quetzalcoatl represents the eternal cycle of creation and rebirth, inspiring awe and reverence in all who behold its splendor. Scribal Gods, Keepers of Knowledge. Unlock the secrets of the Scribal Gods, guardians of wisdom and learning. From Itzamna, the revered scribe, to Chak, the divine artist, these deities embody the sacred tradition of writing and scholarship, preserving the knowledge of the ages for future generations. Vision Serpent, gateway to the divine peer into the depths of the Vision Serpent, a mystical symbol of spiritual revelation and enlightenment. With its serpent-like form and divine revelations, this sacred creature serves as a conduit between the earthly realm and the realm of the gods. Vukub Kakwis, fallen king of the skies, Witness the downfall of Vukub Kakwi, the proud bird deity who dared to challenge the gods. In the epic tale of the Popol Vu, Vukub Kiks meets his fate at the hands of the hero twins, symbolizing the triumph of virtue over arrogance and the eternal struggle between light and darkness. Embark on a journey of discovery through the wondrous world of Maya mythology, where gods and goddesses reign supreme, shaping the destiny of humanity and the cosmos alike. Dear viewers, 
Thank you for watching this wonderful video. It's truly a pleasure for us to share this valuable time with you. Your opinions are highly valued to us. Please share your thoughts and feedback about our video so we can continuously improve. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Subscribing will keep you updated on our latest videos and allow you to become part of our community. We're looking forward to sharing many more enjoyable contents with you. Until the next video, take care and stay with love.